I can't talk. I cannot speak. Hello everyone, my name is Ashlyn. Welcome to my channel if you've never been here before and if you're returning for another time, thank you so much for coming back to watch. I'm super excited today because I'm doing my second YouTube video. Yeah, so today I'm doing something called the DCP tag. So basically... So basically what it is, is just like a series of questions about the Disney College program. And so I'll be answering them based off of my experience so far, just with the interview process and roommates and that kind of thing. Also, if you watched my video before, I was able to make the shadow go down just a little bit. So we're getting there. Question number one is, how did you hear about the program? Well, I've always been a huge Disney fan. I've always loved going into Disney and going to the parks. But I think I really started getting serious about wanting to do this program when my cousin, she actually went and did the program a few years back. And I remember her, she just said it was the best time. She loved it, made so many friends, and it was just such a great experience. So just through talking with her and learning a lot about the program, I just decided that it was something that I really, really, really wanted to do. I knew I'd always wanted to do it, but just through talking with her, thanks, Ellie. I decided that it was something that I was really going to pursue in the near future. So here I am. Question number two, how was the interview process? Very, very, very long. So I applied like a few days after applications dropped, which I don't even remember when that was, but I was like maybe three days after applications dropped. And from the time that I applied, it took one month, like almost exactly a month to hear anything back. And I had heard of many people um, getting their web-based interviews directly after so that really freaked me out and everybody on the Facebook page kept saying no don't freak out don't lose hope and I was losing hope like every single day but they were right don't lose hope it took one month and then I got my update for a web-based interview and I was so excited I actually screamed whenever I saw that I got a WBI and I, my grandpa was downstairs and he I think I freaked him out a little bit. He was like, what's wrong? And I was like, <laughs> nothing's wrong. It's the opposite of wrong. Anyway, so yeah, then I took my WBI um, right there and then got the notification. The screen popped up that I was able to schedule a phone interview. So I scheduled my phone interview about a week from then to give me some time to prepare and whatnot. And yeah, so then when my interview came, I don't think I've ever been as nervous as I was that day. I was so nervous. I actually videoed my phone interview so I could see if, like, if I didn't get in, what I did wrong, and I could go back and look. And it's a good thing that I videoed it, but it's also the most hideous thing I've ever seen in my life. It was so awkward. I said, you know, the phrase, you know, like, literally 100 times probably. It was the most embarrassing thing I've ever watched in myself ever. But who knows, maybe Disney likes, you know. I mean, you never know, you know? You know what I'm talking about? You know, okay. Anyways, yeah, so then I found out, I had my interview on a Sunday and I think I heard back, I got my acceptance like Tuesday. So it only took two days. So I was really thankful for that because after that whole you know incident, I was thinking I'm never getting in ever. Question number three, where were you when you found out you got in? Well, I had just gotten to school. I was about to go to class when I checked my email in my car and I saw an email from Walt Disney Recruiting and my heart dropped, I freaked out. I thought that because it was so soon getting back to me that it might have been bad news. And then I saw congratulations and I freaked out and I started crying. And um, But at that point I didn't know what I got in for, I guess, because like the email just shows you that you got in. It doesn't say what like term, like because my, um, what I wanted was the fall, not the fall advantage. And so I didn't know which one I got yet and I didn't know what my role would be. So that was super exciting. It was awesome. And I called my family and was still crying and it was, it was really fun. Question number four is what is your role and your preferred roles? My role is a lifeguard. I'm going to be a lifeguard. I'm not sure if I'm going to be working at a resort yet or at a um, water park. 
So that'll be fun when I get there. I'm gonna do some training and then find out which one I get. My preferred roles were actually character attendant, attractions, and y'all, I don't even remember what the third one was. I'm, I really, I didn't care. I just wanted to be there doing anything. I would have cleaned, I would have done anything. I honestly, on my application I put um, high interest in pretty much everything because I just really wanted to go. But lifeguard, I'm really excited about that even though I mentioned in my last video that I've never been a lifeguard before and I'm just excited. It's going to be a new adventure. It's going to be really fun. I don't I don't remember where I was going with this question, so let's just move on to the next one. Question number five is, how did you find your roommates and how many do you want? Well, I found my roommates through the Facebook page, kind of. I found this one girl on the Facebook page who I was like, oh my gosh, she's so cute. She's really sweet. And then we started talking and then she had already um, been talking with a few other girls and so they added me to their group message and now we're future roomies, how exciting. And how many do I want? I, it didn't really matter to me, I, I didn't, I don't really care. The more the merrier I guess. Question number six, what are you going to miss while you're on the program? Oh gosh. I'm gonna miss everything. I'm gonna miss my family. I'm gonna miss my boyfriend. I'm gonna miss my puppies. I'm gonna miss my friends. I'm gonna miss my church. I'm gonna miss a lot of things. I'm kind of a homebody. I really like being around my family and my friends and everything. So it's definitely gonna be really hard to go away for that long, even though my term is it's the fall and it's only like four or five months, but it's still, it's gonna be a really long time, but it's a once in a lifetime opportunity and I've wanted to do it for a long time, so. It's gonna be really fun. And everyone's gonna come and see me. Everyone come and see me. If you know me, please come and see me. I'm gonna love it. Question number seven. I'm not gonna do that anymore. Question number seven. What's your favorite Disney park? Okay, I could never answer this question. I love Magic Kingdom because it's Magic Kingdom. It's a classic, it's magical, it's, I just love it. But I love Epcot, I love Studios, I love Animal Kingdom. I, there's no way, I, there's a special part about all of them. I don't understand why people ask these types of questions because I can never answer them. I don't know my favorite park. I love them all. They're all wonderful, magical. If you go to Disney World and you don't go to all four parks, then did you even go to Disney World? I, no, you didn't. Question number eight. What's the first thing you want to do when you get down there? The first thing that I want to do is see my roommates. I'm so excited to meet these girls. I've been communicating with them and they seem really awesome. And I know when we first get down there, we won't be able to get into the parks. So I'm just excited to meet them and get our little apartment set up and go to traditions and do all that fun stuff. I'm just excited to get started, I guess. I don't really have like one thing that I'm like, wanting to do right when I get there. I just want to meet them and settle everything in and start the adventure. Question number nine, what's the number one thing on your bucket list? Okay, I haven't exactly made my bucket Funny story, I haven't made my bucket list yet. I have plenty of time. I leave in... Okay, um, I don't know what's wrong with me. I leave in like five months maybe around five months so i have plenty of time i haven't made my bucket list yet i'm going to i don't know what's number one i'm just ready to be there i'm gonna ride all my favorite rides i'm gonna watch oh i know what can be number one on my bucket list this see this is a reason to do this i have not the last time i was at disney it was the um closing show was still wishes so i'm so excited to see happily ever after there you go that's number one on my bucket list Question number 10 is, what is one thing you hope to take away from this program? I hope to take away a bunch of fun memories. I am so excited to be able to meet new people and make friends and just create a bunch of fun memories that I'll remember forever. I'm excited to finally live in Disney. This has been such a dream. Definitely to get some experience, you know, working in Disney is different than working anywhere else. So I'm excited to get some awesome work experience, but I'm just excited to make fun memories with 
new friends. Anyways, thank you so much for coming to my channel and watching this video. This is going to be such a fun adventure. I'm already so excited about making these videos and documenting everything. So just thank you for coming and watching. I'm looking forward to making more videos soon. I have a few ideas of fun videos. So please stay tuned and keep coming back. Please feel free to subscribe to keep up with what I'm doing along this journey. Yeah, so thanks again and I hope you all have a great day. Thank you.